Good evening, everyone, and welcome to The Real Science Exchange, the podcast where leading scientists and industry professionals meet over a few drinks to discuss the latest ideas and trends in animal nutrition. With me tonight is my trusty, rusty uh, co-host, Dr. Clay Zimmerman. Clay, typically we're drinking uh, beverages uh, during The Real Science Exchange, but tonight we're having ice cream. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, And that's because we are at the Ice Cream Social after the American Dairy Science Association award ceremony so and so why we're doing this tonight is we're going to be honoring the winners of the poster contest and the oral presentation contest and to start off our first guest is latoro rastol i say that right you did pretty yeah. good that was uh, a good uh, uh, rolling. i yeah. almost rolled the r just yeah, a little bit yeah, yeah. yeah. okay i'm proud of you <laughs> um Latoro is, uh, he's the president of uh, the GSD. So Latoro, give us some background in terms of who are you, what are you about, um, and uh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, Scott. So I'm a PhD candidate at the University of Guelph. My advisor is Dr. Michael Steele. I work in cat health on calf, uh, trying to improve the health of those animals during the pre-winning period that we know is a very stressful period of time for the animals. So we're trying to understand how we can improve immune development on those animals and how kind of like have creative ways that we can uh, reduce incidence of disease overall. And so, yeah, I've been president of the grad student division for a year. I'm almost done right now. Um, and I want to say thank you, Bakken, for sponsoring the, well. some of these events so and then yeah, showcasing some of our events. So thanks. Yeah, for that. very good. So what is GSD? What's the purpose, the history? Uh, and, and what are the benefits of GST to uh, yeah. students? Yeah. So the grad student division for ADSA, um, it's, it's run by the student members. And the idea behind it is to, to try to p- provide a platform for uh, professional development activities and network opportunities at the conference. And we also organize our own events during the meeting without same portals to generally stuff that are outside um, scientific uh, conversation more related specifically to professional development so we have a workshop in one of the days uh, the one that we had yesterday was on scientific communication how to improve scientific communication and how you deliver your message to your audience um, then there's another event that we have that is that career luncheon that we have a panel of people that they just finished their degrees and they just landed their first uh, job either in industry or in academia so that the students have an opportunity to see how that transition is and they have an opportunity to ask questions on how they should prepare their resume, how they should contact people and how, um, yeah, how, how they can improve their job hunting uh, to sort of find their first job. Yeah, uh, nice, excellent. So th- we also have My Dairy Career Tool that it's a platform that we have in ADSA that they post jobs uh, in industry and in academia and the members of the organizations, they can use that resource as well. Uh, well. So Latora, what was the most rewarding part of being GSD president? Yeah, I, I think it's like being on the general board and seeing behind the scenes how a meeting like this is put together and seeing the amount of work that it takes to put a meeting like this. So they start organizing the session symposia, uh, what everything's gonna take place a year before. And even the venue, you have the venue contracts probably three, four years in advance. So seeing how that is put and the amount of work that it takes and all the logistics is, is great to see. And it's also really good for my professional development. And I certainly wanna keep um, providing my service to this great organization. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So how often does the board meet? once a month at the beginning and then when you're getting closer uh, probably twice twice a month and then you have two meetings in person on the like right on the venue yeah yeah where you come and see uh, the convention center all the rooms and you kind of figure it out where everything's going to happen oh very nice yeah. mm-hmm. i gotta tell you we interviewed about 20 uh or so uh, students uh, this this week and it was amazing uh, the quality of the kids coming out of, of universities these days. You guys should be proud, but we were very impressed. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. In front of yeah. them. Uh, so tell us a little bit about your role, uh, Lotaro, as mm-hmm. president and uh, how much longer will you be president and then who's going to be following in your footsteps? Yes. Yeah. So my role as a president, I'm an ex-official member of the general board of ADSA. So 
I participate in my role in the organization of the meeting. So I have to oversee our own grad student board that is composed of five other members. And each of them are in charge of organizing one specific event. And we have webinars throughout the year also on professional development. So my role is kind of oversee that board and also have a seat on the general board organizing the meeting and linking them together. Yeah. Um, I'll be finishing my mandate uh, at the end of the meeting, actually. And then Luke Kian from University of Cornell uh, is going to take the president's role. Okay. Um, and it's one year's dairy foods division is the president, and then one year is uh, dairy production. Okay, very well. So now tell us about uh, La Toro. So what, what are you going to do um, uh, after you graduate and what's your aspirations for the future? Yeah, yeah. So I just signed a contract with University of Wisconsin-Madison. Congratulations. Um, to start, Great school, by the way. Yes, I'm really excited yeah. about that. Um, to start a faculty position next next year there on immunology. Oh, so I'm going to continue some of my work that I've done during my PhD on calf health and immune function in calves. Yeah. Uh, congratulations. Good thanks luck for, to you. Wish yeah. you the best. Thank you, guys. All right. Yeah. Hey, thanks for spending some time with us tonight. Yeah. We'd love to hear your comments or ideas for topics and guests. So please reach out via email to anh.marketing at valchem.com with any suggestions, and we'll work hard to add them to the schedule. Don't forget to leave a five-star rating on your way out. You can request your Real Science Exchange t-shirt in just a few easy steps. Just like or subscribe to the Real Science Exchange and send us a screenshot along with your address and t-shirt size to anh.marketing at balchem.com. Balchem's Real Science Lecture Series of webinars continues with ruminant-focused topics on the first Tuesday of every month, monogastric-focused topics on the second Tuesday of each month, and quarterly topics for the companion animal segment. Visit balchem.com slash real science to see the latest schedule and to register for upcoming webinars. Thank you.